What's up guys, Little Bean here, bringing you a very exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make the Chrome text, uh, it's the text you saw in the beginning. The first edit was made by me, it's called Beast, should check it out if you haven't. And the second one was Sleep for Shady's Bullseye V1, also great great montage, you should definitely check it out if you haven't. And yeah, so basically what you need is... Uh, a still image or you know motion tracked cinematic or something I have a motion tracked cinematic so I'm going to make a new material so simply import my PNG picture so you click on the three little dots choose your first picture click open you want to know go to this image go up here to animation and calculate so we got this you can close this up go to the light icon create a new background and simply apply the material to the new background so this is basically what we get here simply motion check cinematic if you don't know how to motion check there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube so anyway what we need for the Chrome text are three basic objects you could say uh, first is going to be the lighting and the actual effects for the lighting then we need a floor and the material itself. I'm going to show you how you can use, uh, how you can create all this stuff so it shouldn't be that difficult. So first up we want to go to our render settings up here, click on the little icon and our render settings will appear. Because I have a uh, motion track cinematic you can change the frame rate really, you shouldn't change it. Resolution 1280 by 720 want to change this uh, random mode to all pictures uh, save you can save it AVI movie mp4 quicktime doesn't really matter what we will be focusing on will be the anti-aliasing you want to set this to best and this one to animation and you can change the max level to 2x2 two two. this should be the best so here is also a quick tip if you want fast and rendering you should definitely uh, change these three values so we can change the ray depth to three the reflection depth uh, sorry the ray depth we're going to change that to seven the re reflection depth we're changing that to se uh, to three and the shadow depth we're going to change that to seven so uncheck these two and you should be good to go now we add some effects, ambient occlusion and global illumination. Uh, on the ambient occlusion we simply want to change the contrast to 15. And on the global illumination we want to change the GI modus to IC camera animation. Go to the irritants cage and change these two values to low. So anyways, we got our effect set up and now we only need a good lighting so what we want to do is create a sky by simply go to the light icon and click on the sky now we want to go to the material we applied on the background hit control click on the material and drag it to the right this will simply copy the material you could also click control C control V but anyways, what we want to do is go to your color, click this little down arrow and click copy shader. Go to your luminance channel, check it and click on the little arrow again and click paste shader. So now we're going to apply the new material to our sky. And right click on the sky, Cinema for d -text, Compositing. And then you simply uncheck scene by camera this will give us a very very good lighting and yeah the first part is actually done so gonna create a simple text now so MoGraph, MoText apply some effects maybe go for a depth of a thousand and let's say chrome text should be good 
and choose a font, simple one. I'm going to choose the font I used in the edit. It's called Praetorian. Should definitely get it. Pretty cool font. I like it a lot. Uh, change this to middle. Go to your fillet caps. Fillet cap, fillet cap. Change this to 3. This one to 6. Doing the same here. And then you want to simply scale it up. I'm going to do this a little bit quicker. Because you know how to create text, I guess. Then we want to match this a little bit up. So, anyways, we got our simple text here, and if we render, we see it actually looks kind of nice. Kind of good of lighting we got there set up. So, what we want to do now, click the light icon again and create a floor. Then you simply positioning the floor, reposition it if it doesn't fit your cinematic, which is in my case. So, we want this floor to be right here. And then we simply get the material we apply to our background, get it onto our floor, click on the material, go to the projection or mapping and change it to frontal. Then right click on the floor, Cinema for DTAX, Compositing, uncheck self shadowing and check Compositing Background. And what this will do, it will give us pretty nice reflections on our Chrome text. And yeah, so we got our lighting and the floor set up. So now what we want to do is make the material. So we create a new material. And I'm actually showing you the material I used in my edits. So if you want to have a cool looking, you know, Chrome material, you should pay attention right now. So you go to your color channel and change the values up here to 0, 81 and 255. So we get a nice bluish looking material. And change the brightness to 6 because we don't really want to see that. So you go to your reflection, check it. And we don't have to make that many adjustments right here. You simply want to change the brightness to 92. And if we go down here to the blurriness, we can change that to, let's say, yeah, 10. I think I used 10. Yeah, I used 10. So last thing we want to do is go to specular, and we're going to make here some adjustments, quite a lot actually. So just simply copy and paste the values I give you right now. So the first one will be 83. Actually, we should 83 and 93. So we're going to, for the height, we're going to 98. Let's see, minus 31. Oh, Jesus, my timing is so bad. And we're going for 23. So this will give us a pretty nice specular light. It looks really, really awesome on the on our text. You will see it in a minute. So you get the material right here and simply drop it onto our text. Again, you want to go to the material and change the projection, this time to sphere mapping. And if we render this out, we will see we get such a nice looking chrome text. And if you use this on, you know, motion check cinematics, it really looks awesome. I can only approve of it. Really, really cool effect, really cool text, and yeah, I really like to use it a lot. And I hope you guys could learn something from this tutorial. I'm looking forward to get some, you know, tutorial suggestions from you guys. If you have any effect you always wanted to know how you can do that, or simply an effect of my edits you would like to know how I use that, uh, yeah, you can leave a suggestion down below and I will simply do a tutorial on that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and... Yeah, I'm out.